This conference will now know. be recorded. I'll, I'll, I'll explain. Explain. Go ahead. Uh, so, how to pay partial payment when we make around thousand invoice in a one way, and how to pay, you know, partial payment for around hundred bit out of thousand? I'll tell you now. In today's class, I'll show that. Okay. Okay, let's talk about down payment and advance payment. Normally, whenever we talk about down payment or advance payment, we are talking about amount paying before receiving the goods or services. Okay, before purchasing or before receiving goods or services, if you are making the payment to the supplier, we normally call it as advance payment or down payment. Whenever you make any advance payment, whenever you make any down payment, you will be writing the same accounting entry which we write for normal payment. For normal payment, our accounting entry will be vendor account debit, bank outgoing account credit. Even for the vendor advance payment, it will be the same accounting entry. There will be no change in the accounting entry. It will be vendor account debit, bank outgoing account credit. But there will there will be a slight difference from the accounting treatment. Let's say payment entry and then here I'll put advanced payment entry. When you talk about payment entry, you are going to debit vendor and you are going to credit bank outgoing credit. Vendor account will be debit, bank outgoing will be credit. The same accounting entry you will be writing when you talk about advanced payment because in both the scenarios debit the receiver vendor is receiving the payment you are debiting vendor credit what goes out amount is going out from you from bank so in both the cases you are crediting bank account but all the advanced payments all the advanced payments are called as a special chill transactions in sap so vendor account debit so here you will be writing special gl whenever you are talking about a vendor you will be talking about a special gl if it is advanced related a transaction if it is a normal payment it's a normal vendor account if it is advanced payment you will be debiting to the vendor account which will represent in your special gl transaction reason why you need to talk about a special gl transaction is here you have not received any benefit from the vendor either from the product or from the service even before receiving any benefit even before receiving any invoice you have initiated the payment to the amount of your payment you are supposed to receive some benefit from vendor in short either the product or the service unless and until you receive the product service from the vendor for the advance payment that you made this advance payment is normally treated as asset current asset this advance payment is normally treated as current asset instead of current liability now how this is treated as current asset instead of current liability if you look at your let's say vendor purchase assuming is for 10,000 vendor purchase is for 10,000 normally for this vendor purchase if you look at the in general the cycle it will be you will receive invoice for 10,000 Invoice will be received for 10,000, which will be a credit value, credit balance. Next one, you will be making a payment for 10,000. If you look at the total, it will become zero. This is your vendor purchase normal. Vendor normal purchase. On the other side, if I put vendor advance purchase for the same amount so the flow will be a little different here 
first you will not be receiving the invoice in case of advanced purchases or in case of advanced payment first thing will be advanced payment first thing what we do is you will be making some advanced payment this advanced payment may be any amount of your invoice value it may be 100 percent of your invoice value it may be 50 percent of your invoice value it may be 20 percent of your invoice value depending on the agreement between the buyer and seller the advance amount will be decided let's assume our advance payment is something 4000 you made advance payment of 4000 later on you will be receiving invoice from the vendor when you receive the invoice your invoice will be received for 10000 your invoice will be received for 10000 first you need to do a total here this advance payment is made for 4000 at the beginning later on you received an invoice for 10000 balance amount is only 6000 balance amount is only 6000 on the balance amount you are going to receive the actual payment this payment will be made for 6000 and then your vendor outstanding will become zero in case if you are making any advance payment at the end you are not going to make the full invoice amount instead of making the full payment amount at the at the end you are making the payment of the balance amount and invoice amount less the advance payment amount will give you the balance amount this balance amount is what you are going to make the payment at the end this is called as final payment or settlement now for example you received you received only invoice if you received only invoice where you are going to represent this invoice on the debit side or on the credit side if invoice is received in vendor account will it show on the debit or on the credit anyone credit sir if you receive the invoice credit. your vendor account will show credit balance your vendor account will show credit balance of 10000 now when you make the payment your vendor account will show a debit balance now in total if you do a total you will find 10000 on the debit side you will find 10000 on the credit side overall your vendor account will become zero and it will get knocked off overall if you see there is equal debit there is equal credit on the vendor account total you are able to see 10000 on the debit side 10000 on the credit side debit and credit are matching your vendor account will get balanced out on the other side if i take the same thing when you make the advance payment when you make the advance payment of 4000 your vendor account will be shown 4000 debit balance on the advance payment your vendor account will represent 4000 debit balance and when you receive the invoice when you receive the invoice your vendor account will show a credit balance of 10000 later on when you make the additional payment or the final payment of a 6000 this will come and sit in debit side again overall if you do a total now this will become 10,000 on the debit side. This will become 10,000 on the credit side. Here also it is equal debit, equal credit. But the point that you need to remember here is instead of writing single debit for 10,000, you are splitting this debit into two parts. One is 4,000, which is represented as advance payment. The other one is 6,000, which is represented as final payment remember anything that you are making as advance payment is is asset in nature because your vendor account is supposed to show a credit balance which is payable 
but whenever you make any advance payment your vendor account will turn debit or debit balance which is nothing but a receivable your vendor account will show receivable if your vendor account is showing a debit balance that represents you are supposed to receive something from your supplier if your vendor account is showing a credit balance that represents you are liable to pay something to your vendor so that is why whenever you look at any vendor balance or any vendor account you are supposed to see a credit balance if you are able to see a debit balance on vendor you need to verify why this vendor account is showing a debit balance is there any advance payment or are there any returns are there any problems adjustments with the vendor account no next one when you look at your balance sheet when you look at your balance sheet you have liabilities and you will have assets normally your vendor account is part of accounts payable and accounts payable is part of liabilities here i will put accounts payable in the accounts payable let me write as 10000 10000 will be represented as accounts payable in your balance sheet for liability and if i tell that on the asset side if i say that this advance payment whatever you have paid so far is called as asset we understood that is called as asset because that is a current asset in nature if i put vendor advances here let's say i'll put vendor advances as 6000 4000 in the liability side if i write accounts payable 10000 and on the asset side if i write vendor advances 4000 if i look at the balance sheet if i look at the balance sheet what is my net or what is my accounts payable liability according to balance sheet 6000 according to balance sheet what is my accounts payable 10000 10, 10000 because normally anybody who looks at balance sheet for the liability they will be looking at for the liability they will be looking at liability side only in short to check what is your payment amount or what is the payable to the supplier anybody who is looking at your balance sheet will be looking at liabilities side only on the accounts payable segment or on the accounts payable part correct now when i look at the balance sheet when i look at the liability side i am able to see accounts payable as 10000 now there is no rule that i need to know the accounting or there is no rule that i need not know the accounting correct so one may be good at accounting one may not be good at accounting because my activity is not to work on the accounting my activity is only to look at the report look at reviewing the reports when i am looking at the report i look at my liabilities i understood that accounts payable is 10000 but somehow i am able to recollect that we made a payment of 4000 to the supplier already when i see that there may be a payment of 4000 to the supplier already i may see that my liability is showing wrong number because whatever is represented in the asset side i may be under impression that this is an asset but it is easy for me to look at the liability side accounts payable and then look at the asset side vendor advances and i will take a calculator manually i will take 10000 minus 4000 6000 will be balance is this user friendly for somebody to review your balance sheet is this user friendly or not by looking at the balance sheet can i tell immediately what is my payable to the vendor or what is my liability to the vendor or not i need to do some calculation we cannot straight away tell what is your outstanding because you may be having multiple accounts payable gl accounts 
accounts payable local accounts payable foreign accounts payable intercompany accounts payable employees accounts payable third party likewise similarly against each accounts payable you have the respective advance account if you have accounts payable look for local vendor there will be advances to local vendor accounts payable foreign vendors there will be advances to foreign vendor accounts payable third party vendor advances to third party vendor accounts payable employees advances to employees now i need to make sure that each accounts payable is adjusted with the advance amount and then my net liability is shown correct i will be adjusting the advances and then i will be representing net liability on my report to make sure that i am not supposed to show these advances in the asset side to do that i will not be showing this in the asset side instead from the accounts payable only i will put less advances i'll put less advances here i will put 4000 then here i'll put net payable i'll show this as 6000 now i'll say this 6000 is my actual accounts payable in the balance sheet liability side which one is giving clear picture advance representing on the liability side is giving a clear picture or advance representing on the asset side which one is easier to understand right if you put advances on the liabilities side it is easy for you to understand now even in your real time projects even in your real environment also you will be creating majority advances as asset gl account sorry advances as liability gl account only you will be creating advances as liability gl account only even though you create this as liability gl account your account is going to show a debit balance your account is going to show debit balance now when you put this in the liability side this is going to become like this this is going to show 6000 even if you put 4000 on the asset side if you do the net you will be arriving at a balance of 6000 even if i take this advances on my liability side i am able to look at the same balance of 6000 however this is more convenient if you put it on the liability side people will ask you these questions in your interview where do you create advanced gl account if you tell asset side why on the asset side how this is represented in your balance sheet if you tell liability side they will ask you why liability side advance is an asset right why are you creating in liability side you need to make sure you are able to explain this part because to have the clear representation of your reporting in the balance sheet you will be creating advances for vendor as liability account advances to customer as asset account similarly for your accounts receivable you will be writing accounts receivable less advances and then net receivable because ideally if you look at it you are not supposed to or you are not going to receive 10000 from your sorry you are not going to pay 10000 to the supplier because out of 10,000, 4,000 is already paid. You are actually supposed to pay only 6,000. This actual payment that we are supposed to make is supposed to be displayed on your liability side. For that, no other option. You need to prepare like this only. No other option. We need to prepare like this. Now, in your liabilities, you have seen now accounts payable is represented as a separate line item and advances are represented as a separate line item which means if this is separate line item if this is separate line item are these two same accounts or two different accounts in your reporting if advance is shown separately if accounts payable is shown separately do we treat these two as a separate GL accounts or same GL account? Separate GL accounts. So this will be treated as separate GL account. When you know that this is a separate GL account, make sure you will be creating the GL master 
you will be creating the GL master on the liability side only for both. Let's go to SAP FS00. DEIN First, let's look at accounts payable. Accounts payable, if you take local vendor, this is 241 all zeros. Accounts payable local. Next one, vendor advances, we have taken in the liability side only, even while creating the chart of account. 241 all zeros is your accounts payable. 242 all zeros is advance payment for the local vendor. Now these two GL accounts will give you the net outstanding of the vendor account. You'll have to take the balance of accounts payable. You will also have to take the balance of advances so that you will get the net outstanding net liability of your vendor. Let us try to make this a setting, but even before you start using the advance payment or down payment, there is a small configuration to assign the GL account. There is a small configuration to assign the GL account. This is because in your vendor master data, you can put only one reconciliation account. In your vendor master data, you can put only one reconciliation account. If you look at accounts payable, accounts payable, we normally create as advances. Accounts payable, sorry, you normally create this as reconciliation account for vendor. Similarly, if you take advances, this advance is supposed to be normal account or vendor reconciliation account. Normal account. Advance payment to vendor. Is this supposed to be a normal GL account or vendor reconciliation account? Reconciliation. This is supposed to be vendor reconciliation account. Let me save this. Your accounts payable is also reconciliation account. Your accounts payable is also reconciliation account. Your advance payment to GL account is also reconciliation account. Because both are paid to the vendor. Anything that you're going anything that you're posting to the vendor account must be posted via reconciliation account If there is no reconciliation account, there is no possibility of capturing any transaction in the vendor account Now to make sure that for this particular vendor whenever you make the advance a separate GL account is used There is a transaction code if you go to FBKP Okay, if you go to FBKP, you will find these options here. T code is FBKP. If you go to FBKP, these are the transactions that you get. In this FBKP, you will find something called a special GL. You will find something called a special GL. You need to open this special GL postings. Now next to special GL, there is something called T074, T074U, T074T. These are nothing but these are nothing but your tables. These are the tables in which your special GL account assignment is updated. Your special GL account meant account assignment is updated in these tables. Just click on this special GL hyperlink. If you click on special GL hyperlink, you will get a screen like this. In this, you are getting account type D, special GL indicator A. And the name of this is this one. Normally, whenever you make any advance, you may be making advance payment for different reasons. You may be making advance payment for different reasons. Each reason of your advance payment will be represented as special GL indicator. Now here if you see these are all account type D D represents customer Currently, we are talking about advance payment to the vendor vendor is nothing but K So you need to look at K related accounts payable advances starting from here If you see K this is your vendor a is nothing but down payment on current assets If you are going to treat your advance as current asset 
whenever you make any advance payment to the any vendor in general this is current asset in nature because current asset is something which is recoverable within one year if you make advance payment today you may be receiving the invoice maybe in a month in couple of months so that you will be adjusting the advance payment with the invoice which is normally going to happen within one year so that is why you call it as current asset any normal advance payment that you give to your vendor is always called as advance payment on current asset special gel indicator a will be used special gel indicator a will be used for most of your advance payments either for customer or for vendor but if you have any specific advance if you have any specific advance you can use different different special gel indicators just for the differentiation purpose when we talk about a differentiation purpose you have special gel indicator b down payment financial assets you have special gel indicator c value dated bank transfer you have advance payment d for discount advance payment f for down payment request advance payment g for guarantees advance payment h for security deposit advance payment i for intangible asset and m for tangible asset like this you will have different different advance payments and you have something called p which talks about payment request s for bill of exchange like this now your client is going to tell you how many type of advances that they are dealing with they will have a list if you are talking about advances the next question comes for what purpose we paid an advance the advance is paid for the purpose of any purchase let's say invoice for any product purchase or any service purchase you are normally going to treat that as down payment on current asset special gel indicator will be a if there is any specific reason if there is any specific purpose why we made advance payment to the vendor then you may be using the different advance payment special gel indicator based on the requirement there you may be changing the description of it there you may be changing the description of it now let's say if i select if i want a i need to make sure the gl account determination is maintained your advance payment gl account is always determined based on vendor reconciliation account advance payment gl account is always determined based on vendor reconciliation gl account which is assigned in the vendor master data if i go to vendor master let's say bp I take 100 101 Toshiba if I double click on this if I double click on this this is what I'm able to see if I go to status or control not here let me go to vendor if I go to vendor vendor general data this is the account group local vendor this vendor is part of local vendors and if i go to company code data if i go to company code data the account group that was used is local vendor reconciliation account that is used is accounts payable local vendors you always have a connection with your account group and then the reconciliation gl account these two must be corresponding to each other now whenever i am making any advance payment to local vendors i want the advance payment to the local vendor to be represented in the gl account 242 all zeros because my normal transaction is going to reflect in 241 all zeros my advance payment will be reflected in 242 all zeros now you need to make sure you need to make sure whenever you are going to record any advance payment in any vendor account if your vendor account is mapped to this reconciliation account if your vendor account is mapped to this reconciliation account the advance payment will be mapped to the 242 all zeros gl account for that you need to come to this screen fbkp enter inside the special gl transactions select the appropriate special gl indicator in general for any advance payment you will be using a you are talking about vendor vendor account type is k 
and then advanced payment type is a double click on this line item if you double click on this line item it is asking you to input chart of account input your chart of account which is degr put chart of account inside this chart of account you need to put reconciliation account you need to put special gl account reconciliation account is the gl account which is assigned in your vendor master data reconciliation account is the account which is assigned in your vendor master data if you go to vendor master data for local vendors we are using accounts payable local vendor this will this will be your normal reconciliation account put this reconciliation account and you will have to maintain the special gl account special gl account is nothing but down payment to gl account or advance payment to gl account come to your special gl account number this is your special gl copy this account number and put this here hit enter now this configuration is not company code specific this configuration is chart of account specific which means if you maintain this account related setting here all the settings all the settings whatever you update here are commonly applicable for your company codes where this chart of account is assigned because for all your company codes you are going to use the same chart of account the gl account will remain common correct huh? gl account will be common so this advance or special gl account determination is not company code specific this is your chart of account specific which means at your client whatever the company codes that they are using for all the company codes this is a one time setting this is not company code based setting nowhere you will find company code here right reconciliation account is this special gl account is this click on save now when i show you or if i show you the vendor account i'll take this vendor account 100101 let me try to pull the vendor balance report fbl 1n in fbl 1n if i try to put this down below if you look at you have something called type here in type you have normal items you have special gl transactions by default your vendor account or your customer account is going to display normal items only when you are talking about normal items when you talk about normal item you are talking about invoices credit memos and payments and when you talk about special gl items you are talking about advances alone advances or down payment clear huh? these are your normal payments and these are your advance payments these normal payments will be reflected in accounts payable recon account this will be reflected in advances recon account so you are going to have two reconciliation accounts in your vendor account if you select only the normal items system is going to show the transactions that are posted or that are reflecting in accounts payable reconciliation gl account the moment you select advanced gl transaction or special gl transaction also system is going to pull the data from this advances gl account also if you look at this if i put normal items system is going to pull the gl account balance of normal reconciliation account in short invoice credit memo normal payment if i select this if i select this it will also include special gl in short advance payment or down payment related a transaction currently let me select only normal item run the report if i run this report the current outstanding is 21680 let's say i will record an advance payment of i will record an advance payment of 
I will record an advance payment of 30,000. What is the current outstanding here? Current outstanding is 21,680. Now I am going to pay 30,000 as advance. When I pay 30,000 as advance, will there be any negative balance in vendor account or vendor account will turn positive? If I put 30,000 advance, will there be negative amount or there will be a positive account balance? Positive account balance. Your vendor account will become positive. Let me make the advance payment. First, let us save this as setting. Changes have been made. This is the only configuration that you need to do for advance payment or for special GL transactions. Next one, go to Easy Access, Accounting, Financial Accounting, Accounts Payable, Document Entry. Here you will find a specific column, specific box called down payment open down payment you have down payment request you have down payment you have down payment clearing in your advance you have three selections or three parts first one is down payment request down payment request is nothing but noted item down payment request is nothing but noted item in your vendor line item report if you go back you will find an option called noted item noted item is nothing but down payment request down payment request is called as noted item next one down payment down payment is nothing but normal advance payment where you are going to debit your vendor account credit the bank account last one is your clearing this clearing is nothing but whenever you make any down payment you are making the down payment for an upcoming invoice for a future invoice so if you make a down payment today you may be receiving the invoice maybe tomorrow or maybe after a month correct once the invoice is received for the down payment that you made you need to make sure the moment you record the invoice you will apply the down payment to the invoice you will apply the down payment to the invoice in short you are going to show down payment Sorry. In short, you are going to show the down payment until you receive the invoice. The moment your invoice is received, you are supposed to link or apply the down payment to the invoice so that your invoice will start showing the less outstanding balance. This is nothing but down payment clearing application of your invoice with down payment or linking connecting your invoice document with advance payment document is nothing but down payment clearing or clearing alone. First, what we will do, we will go to F-48, which is down payment. Enter. In this screen, let us give current date. KZ only because we thought it's the same. I'll say advance payment one. Vendor account is 10101. Hundred one zero one is vendor account special GL indicator. If you open the drop down, you will get the special GL list. Whatever is maintained or whatever was available against account type K, that list is coming here. You need to make sure which is special GL indicator your client will be using and against which special GL indicator your configuration is done. Currently, even though there are 14 entries found here. Our configuration was done only for one special GL indicator, which is A. Only if you use A, it will work. If you use any other indicator, it will not work because we did not maintain GL account mapping for the other special GL indicators. You must select A here. Okay, when you put special GL indicator A, it is representing you are making advance payment. Next, select bank account and amount. I'll take 30,000 as the advance payment. Value date, I'm not taking as of now. Text, I will be writing as advance payment one. This advance payment is not going to have any invoice. 
when we know advance payment is not going to have any invoice you must put profit center you must put profit center i'll put dein01 clear huh? i'll put the same amount 30000 i'll put advance one next if i go to document if i try to simulate this is what it is showing vendor account is on the debit side and bank account is on the credit side let us go to document simulate general ledger this is what you are able to see bank account is on the credit side vendor advances is on the debit side if you look at this is going to the gl account 242 all zeros correct if you look at this is going to gl account 242 all zeros your configuration is also showing 242 all zeros this is going to 242 all zeros because you have given special gl indicator a on what basis a system has decided that i need to update 242 not 241 this is based on your vendor account you are trying to make advance payment for this vendor account correct you are trying to make advance payment for vendor account this this vendor account has a reconciliation account this if you are posting transaction to this account system will look at which reconciliation account this vendor account is mapped with system has found this is the reconciliation account immediately system will go and check in this table if this is the reconciliation account in which special gl account i need to update the advance payment system has found a setting if the vendor account is part of this reconciliation account please use this reconciliation account for displaying advance payment according to this setting system has detected gl account number this during your advance payment posting clear how did system taking take this gl account so you need to slowly understand how system is deriving or how system is picking the gl account let me go back now i will try to post this entry now the advance payment is posted once the advance payment is posted if i go to the vendor line item report if i go to vendor line item report my balance is supposed to be positive but is my account balance positive or it is still negative it is still negative that 30000 advance payment is not appearing here that 30000 advance payment is not appearing here that will be appearing based on a column called a special gl indicator here if you look at this particular field this is called a special gl indicator currently all these are blank which means there are no special gl indicators what i am going to do i am going to add one more field here called gl account so far i did not add gl account here let me add gl account in our layout for that go to change layout click on find and search for gl g slash l click on find next you will find gl account here add this gl account somewhere here at the beginning click on copy and save this layout save continue now if you see this you are able to see the gl account 241 all zeros is where these transactions are reflecting now your advance payment is posted in 241 or 242 gl account your advance payment is posted in 242 gl account currently when you select normal items system is displaying gl account number 241 alone for you to see that 242 gl account you must select special gl transactions here include normal item include special gl items also click on execute if i click on execute you are able to see gl account 241 gl account 242 also now if you see this is appearing in positive balance now 8320 positive balance this is now displaying 8320 debit balance clear now when you look at your balance sheet when you look at your balance sheet 
how much if i have to say how much is my net outstanding for this vendor when i look at a vendor i have to look at vendor at overall i cannot say there is one advance payment there is one normal payment i am not supposed to say when i am looking at vendor account balance i need to know whether this particular vendor account contains debit balance or credit balance that i will come to know only if i run the report with with both normal item plus special gl item if i run the report for both normal and special gl this is what the balance i am able to get now when you look at this report there are two points point number 1 you have to see all this gl account transactions separately and you have to see this gl account transactions separately now if you are finding something in the advance payment gl account for 30000 you will find the special gl indicator a this will tell you for what purpose the advance is paid let's say this is normal advance payment the moment you receive the invoice for this advance payment what we need to do you are going to show or you are supposed to show this as advance payment until you receive the invoice the moment invoice is received from your vendor you will be posting the invoice once the invoice is posted you need to make sure you will link this advance payment to the invoice respective invoice you will link this advance payment to the respective invoice so that there will be nothing showing in the advance you paid advance you received the invoice when you receive the invoice you are not supposed to show advance payment advance payment represents you paid some amount but you are yet to receive the advance you are yet to receive the invoice you will be receiving the invoice after receiving the goods or services only after receiving the goods or services you will be receiving the invoice once invoice is posted you need to make sure advance payment is adjusted against invoice document this is mandatory but before you do that how this is linked and all first you must be in a position to create special gl indicator config that's a single step very simple one post one advance payment later on it is easy for you to understand because in real time when you are in a project you will, you may get confused at this stage and we have to include this advance payment in our automatic payment program also we need to make sure these advance advance payments are included in automatic payment program also and in automatic payment program you have something called or you will get a question do you make partial payment in your do you make partial payment or do you make on account payment in your vendor account using app if somebody is asking you do you make advance payment or on account payment or partial payment using app it is always used using this function cancel yes you have something called request you have something called request you can use this one you can use either f-47 request or you can use f-59 payment request if you want to make on account payment if you want to make partial payment you will be creating a payment request if i open payment request if i open payment request it is asking something called a document number this is asking you payment request for invoice is this asking for the invoice number yes no now if i take any one invoice if i take this invoice number 17 all zeros one copy and if i try to put this here and before pressing enter i want to click on display invoice this is the document for 1920 against 1920 i want to release the payment of 1000 let's say i'll click on enter it is telling it is telling there is nothing outstanding or there is no appropriate line item found you put line item number your vendor is on the item number 1 you need to make sure item number 1 is given there line item number 1 go back put line item number 1 press enter now what it is telling payment request for invoice document number company code fiscal year line item number 1 it is giving an error message 
line item has incorrect debit credit indicator remove this click on document header it's not allowing you to go inside now click on find invoice select this document number click on execute this is what you are getting select this now click on document header this is telling no appropriate line item found for payment request this is telling no appropriate line item found for payment request this we will see in the upcoming sessions why these error messages are coming on what basis you are making this payment request is this applicable only for the finance invoices or is this applicable only for the logistics invoices sir it is a credit memo sir i think sorry i copied sorry i was about to copy this number my mistake 19 all zeros 3 well put 19 all zeros 3 let me press enter when i press enter after giving the actual document number we are able to see line item amount is 23800 and against this invoice you have credit memo of 1920 the net outstanding or the net balance on this invoice is currently 21880 and there are no payment request there are no partial payment against this invoice now you want to create a payment request for it for let's say enter what message it is giving no special gl account defined for account type k for special gl indicator p you are able to see this special gl indicator p can you see this p clear now if you want to make the partial payment against an invoice you will have to use payment request your payment request is nothing but creating a request with a special gl indicator your payment request is always created with special gl indicator p p request p, p talks about your payment request this special gl indicator we will be adding in the next session but before that you must have created special gl indicator a and you must have created a transaction only then it is possible for us to understand this because this is something that we need to execute from app also so we are not we are we have to make sure that we are not getting confused we are able to understand and you are able to process down payments and your partial payment and your on account payment using automatic payment program as well for that only one prerequisite is to make sure you are understanding how this is setting is made how this is setting is made and where these two gl accounts are maintained one is liability one is asset or both are liabilities next one how these are represented in your financials in your balance sheet how do we normally represent this once you are clear with this we can proceed to create the payment request and you can execute this payment request or partial payment using automatic payment program if somebody is asking you about app they will be questioning you about how do you make partial payment from app can we make on account payment from app can we pay down down payment or advances from app for all this only one answer your special gl indicator for everything only one answer it is a special gl indicator but there will be different special gl indicators but you are going to process it using special gl indicator functionality clear if i come back to vendor line item report if i select only special gl i do not select normal items i select only special gl items if i run this this will display only the advance payment because if i put special gl this is going to select only the transactions which are updated with special gl indicators if i go back if i put normal plus special gl this is where you are going to get the total vendor outstanding 
now let me show you vendor account balance now vendor account balance is fk tenant if i go to fk tenant if i put 100 101 if i click on execute system is showing vendor outstanding as how much you are supposed to look at only this balance column don't look at this don't look at this look at only balance you are in which period currently july sir you are in july you have to look at july month what is the july month closing balance in vendor account 8600 8600 if you are able to see vendor balance is 8600 whether it is positive or negative this vendor account Thank is supposed to be displayed on balance sheet liability or balance sheet asset liability liabilities this vendor account is supposed to be displayed on balance sheet liability now when you look at the vendor account is a system showing separate report for advances separate report for normal transactions or both combined This is the combined balance. You have a dedicated tab here called a special GL. This is your special GL or advance account balance. 30,000 is was, was you paid. 30,000 is what you have paid. Now, if you come back, these things I'll explain you later on because now you will get confused if I explain about why these numbers are coming from where these numbers are coming. Because tomorrow, if you're working in any project, if you're showing these reports as it is to your client, your client will ask, I paid my advance payment is only 30,000. From where 53,000 is coming, from where 83,000 is coming, and how it is 98,000, how it is 45,000, how it is 15,000, correct? These numbers are nowhere related to your advance payment. Agree? Right. So these numbers, how system is bringing, how system is picking, we need to practically understand. It's not that somebody will ask you in your interview, but your client is definitely going to ask. Your client will never do any interview with you. He will ask all the normal questions, doubts, confusions, whatever they have. You go to balances. 8,600 is your balance. Even if I look at my vendor line item report, it is showing 8,320. But how much you are able to see here? Where is it? You are able to see 8600. Is there anything which is posted in this vendor account in future date? That also we need to check. Because I am looking at open items as on this period. This report. You are looking at this report as on period. While running this report, there is no date column, correct? It is not allowing you to select any date. The moment you run the report, you are able to get the balance based on period. This is periodic balance or this is month end closing balance. Month end closing balance for July is on what date? Month end closing balance for July is on what date? What is the month and date for July? 30 or 31? 31. 31. 31. You'll have to make sure that you will be checking the report at 31. This is one of the common mistakes that your clients will perform in the real environment. They will put the open item as on today. They will try to verify the account balance from that report. That is displaying the balances as on month and 31st. You are seeing the report as on today. So the dates on which you are looking at the key balance is different so there may be possibilities of changes now let us verify on this date if the numbers are matching or not if i look at this if i look at this it is giving the account balance of 15480 it is giving me the account balance of 15480 but if i come here are you able to see 15480 anywhere
No, sir. No. What is the total outstanding that you are able to see here? It is. 45,480, this is your total outstanding. Because this is the outstanding of June month and this is outstanding of July month. The total outstanding is 45,480. Now let me go to vendor account. What I will do, I will not select special GL transactions. I will click on execute. Is this matching 45,480 here? 45,480 here? Is this number matching? 45,480 here and 45,480 here. Next one, if I select only advance payment here, only advance payment if I select, we are getting 30,000 here. In this report also, if you go to special GL tab, advance payment tab, you will be able to see 30,000 here. You will be able to see 30,000 here. And if you see the normal account balance is 45,480, advance payment is 30,000, total outstanding in this vendor account is 15,480. Now, if I run both together, fifteen thousand four eighty is the outstanding from vendor account, correct? This is the net payable to vendor. Agree? 15,480. Now, if you look at this report, you are able to see the total net payable is 15,480. Is this number matching yeah. now? Yes, sir. Right? This is how your balance sheet should represent the vendor account balance. If it is showing something here, 30,000 is receivable, and if it is showing 45,000 as payable, then what is my net amount? What is the net outstanding? Am I supposed to pay anything to the vendor, or am I supposed to receive anything from vendor? For that to happen, no other go, you need to make sure that your vendor account is clearly represented in your balance sheet. For that, you need to show your vendor normal transaction plus advance payment transaction at single place. And we need to understand how this balance calculations are happening by the system. How these balances are adjusted, how these balances are displayed. Clear? So this one you need to practice today. Create one special gel indicator, create only one, not everything. Those who are using the same, this one. If you maintain all the GL accounts, other may not be able to create it. Or what you do in your company code, you create different reconciliation GL account. In the same sequence, you add next GL account for your particular company code. I believe most of you are using the same chart of account, right? For your company codes. When you copied the company code. So if you are using same chart of account, make sure you use different GL account. Post some advanced entries, make sure you are able to find out the numbers without any confusions. If you are able to do it, you can complete advanced payment, on account payment, partial payment from automatic payment program very easily. There is nothing new in it. It's a just data entry part. You just need to maintain one setting in APP setting, FBZP, and then it will start working. Okay. All right, then let me stop this recording.